Hey guys, before I get into this video, small disclaimer, I'm not getting paid to do this. Um, I bought a mold from Cats Perfect and I just want to do a review on it because I think her product is absolutely amazing. So, let's get into this video. Um, this is her website. Um, she is a very, very, very awesome woman. Oh my goodness. One, her molds are amazing. Two, her customer service is exceptional. Um, her, she does have a no refund or exchange policy, but I promise you, you will not be dissatisfied with her molds. Her molds are just fantastic. So, um, I have this little alpaca mold, but this was a freebie that I got and it is just so cute. I'm going to show you how that turned out in a second because I did make one. I also have this caramel apple, which I did not get to use yet. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it after I made it, <laughs> so I um, I didn't make one. But there's this one. Then there's the Bubba machine. And the last one I got is one of her corset molds. Um, I've seen a lot of people use her other corset mold, um, and just make, like, really cute glittery pieces out of them, but what I was looking for was something for, um, Disney princesses. Originally, I was looking for, like, a simple dress, um, or a princess in a dress, or something like that, so I could make it into the colors that I wanted, but... I saw this and was just super happy because I um, made a replica of the corset on Photoshop and I was able to um, incorporate the colors just how I wanted and it looked really good so I had to get this from her and um, her molds are made out of this really nice really thick um, I believe it's called polyplastic um, what I would like to let you guys know, a good tip for these kind of molds, um, I'm going to post a picture in just a second that shows you um, how I stabilize them because if you don't, you will not get your resin to settle evenly. So um, I'm going to post a picture here. And that is how I um, keep them from wobbling around so my mold will set evenly. Once they're cured, um, I do not use mold release in any of my molds. All I do is pop them in the freezer for about a minute or two and then pop them right out. So that's how I use them. And so this one turns out like this. And this is shiny like this right out of the mold. I painted his little feet and his heart on his bum and his eyes and his face. Um, but as you can see, you really don't need to glaze these. They, or, you know, dome them on the front. They come out really nicely. I do, however, need to sand down the backs a little bit. Or poss possibly dome the back. Um, this particular mold is about two and a half inches tall by one and a half inches wide. Um, very nice pendant size, even a keychain. Um, and then I'm going to show you my little Disney ones. So there's Ariel and Snow White, and they just come out so nice. I did glaze these, though, because of the paint. Um, this heart came out good, but this heart needed some more paint. And as you can see, there's a few gaps up here where I missed it. But all in all, that's just my error. Her molds are fantastic. Look at these. They're just so, so nice. So, so nice. But, yes, go to her store, like her on Facebook, um, order molds from her, because her molds, like she says, are handmade with love, and they really are. She takes a lot of, I can tell that she takes a lot of time and care into making these molds, and, you know, she's just a great person, and I don't know her, like, on a personal level, but I just know she's awesome, just from the few interactions that I had with her. So, um, like I said, I'm going to put all the links in the description, check out her shop. Um, if you're going to start resin, if you're already doing resin and you don't have any of her molds, definitely, definitely some really nice things on there. 
um, that you would like if you are doing or going to do resin. Um, less enough of me just rambling on and on. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for more of my videos. Um, I'm not sure what the next video is going to be, but it'll probably be another update. But anyway, bye guys! Thanks.